hey guys welcome back to my channel terry teachers consultancy where i create videos to inspire teachers who wish to work overseas train effective and reliable teachers who can teach anywhere in today's video i'm going to share with you 10 tips for writing your cv number one use a professional picture you do not need to get a professional photographer to take your picture all you need to do have good lighting use a white background and wear smart professional clothes number two clearly state your name and relevant info make sure your name email phone number skype address and your subject area are clearly marked on the top page of your resume number three philosophy of education start with a brief paragraph outlining your own philosophy of education it will help the school to see if your values fall in line with their own simply put here you are going to describe yourself as a teacher what is your passion what best describes you you are going to sell yourself number four only add teacher relevant information this is a resume for a teaching position adding in any information that is not relevant to teaching or education is not only a waste of time but it does not look professional to the reader so if you have experience as a chef or a life insurance agent you will not add it to your resume if you are a teacher i hope you are writing these tips down let's move on to number five chronological order make sure that all of the information is in order of most recent first for example if you are writing about your teaching experience, you put your most recent experience first or your current work experience. Also, place your qualifications in this order as well. It is very important that teachers are participating in professional development courses during their careers. But there is no need to list every single course that you have taken keep it relevant to the school and position you are applying to use only three to five courses number seven use education terms and language try to use educational terms and words throughout your cv if you're applying to an american curriculum school it is best to use american terms for example grade one instead of year one or first class. Number eight, font and sizing. Having professional font sizing and bold addings are really important. Comic Sans might look good in a classroom, but it does not look good on a resume. So Times New Roman is more acceptable. Number nine, spacing. Space out your resume so it does not look crowded and difficult to read. Remember, you might have less than 10 seconds to make an impression, so you need to make sure your resume is clear and concise. Your resume does not need to be any longer than two pages. Number 10. References. Include the person's name, email and phone number make sure that at least two of your references is from a previous or current job such as principal coordinators or your leaders your cv is a representation of you so sell yourself the best you can and make that first impression count so try these tips today update your cv and start applying for those dream jobs. All the best and see you next time on another video.